Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, there's been a lot of talk recently about uh, a product that RCA have demoed at the recent CES uh, Consumer Electronics Show. And what it is, it, it's called the Energy, as in A-I-R, Energy. Energy, as in it gets energy from the air, get it? Marketing, yeah, good one, all right. But here's a photo of it, and uh, I'll also post a link to a YouTube video of uh, people on the stand, of the RCA stand at the show, talking about it. And it's to do, it's just an energy harving, harvesting device, and energy harvesting is all the rage in the last couple of years. Everyone's talking about it. You can get chips to harness all sorts of um, you know, residual energy that's out there. Light, motion, vibration, and, and uh, uh, electromagnetic waves and all sorts of things, right? So this one is designed to uh, capture energy from Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals, which are all around us, pretty much, and, uh, and charge an internal lithium-ion battery that then can be in turn plugged into your mobile phone and charge your mobile phone up quickly. It sounds terrific. It sounds like the greatest thing since sliced bread. And RCA have reckoned they've come up with some fantastic new technology that can make it work. Well, I smell bullshit. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Now there's a YouTube video of some guy on the RCA stand claiming that they charged a uh, Blackberry phone from 30% to full in around 90 minutes. And of course, all the geeks, they all went apeshit. They think this is fantastic. This is gonna be the greatest thing since sliced bread, bread if it works. And, uh, but really, that's, it's obvious that that's just not possible. That charge rate is coming from the internal lithium ion battery. It assumes that that battery is already full and you plug that full battery from this energy device into your phone and it'll charge it. And I'm sure it will charge it in that time. There's no problem at all. There's nothing special about that. You can get a you can get a couple of double A batteries, stick them in a box, and have a little five volt generator, and you know, and charge your phone. It's you know nothing new there. But uh, I thought I'd do some calculations and see just how much bullshit this actually is. Okay, here we go. Let's do some back of the envelope calculations, real rough stuff to see, to sort this out, is it bullshit or not? Here we go. Let's say that we have a home hi-fi router, okay, here it is, with its little antenna, and a typical output power of a, of a Wi-Fi router is 0.1 watts, or 100 milliwatts, okay? There it is there. Now, let's be pretty generous and say that our little, uh, little energy receiver is going to be one meter away, okay? Now, if you're know your basic math, the area, now let's, assi let's assume that this antenna is a perfect ideal, what's called an isotropic, okay? Iso, boop, isotropic antenna, all right? That means that the energy is uh, uh, pretty much um, uh, evenly spread out around a perfect sphere, okay? Real antennas aren't like that, but let's be generous, okay? And let's say that, you know, just for rough, Measurements, that, that's what it is, a sphere. Now, the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, okay? Now, in this case, the radius, we're one meter away, okay? So it's 4 pi 1 squared, and that equals 12.6 square meters, okay? That's the surface area of our sphere, simple. Now, let's work out the energy density at, at that sphere, okay? If we've got um, uh, 0.1 watts, okay, divided by uh, 12.6 um, square meters, okay, we're looking at uh, a figure of 8 milliwatts per square meter, all right? And that's the energy uh, density in that field at one meter away, simple. Now you can see where this is headed. It's already starting to smell like bullshit. Look, 8 milliwatts we're talking about per square meter at one at a pretty uh, you know a pretty decent one meter away from it that's very generous but let's let's keep going shall we now let's assume that this is our little energy device here and let's say it's 10 centimeters by 
10 centimeters. That's the capture, effective capture area of the antenna. You know, it doesn't matter what the actual figure is, but you know, it's going to be around about that order. Okay, so that's 0 0.01 square meters. We've got 8 milliwatts, and if it's one meter away, we've got 8 milliwatts per square meter. So, what's that? Well, it's 8 milliwatts per square meter times 0 0.01. Bingo! 0 0.01. 0, 08 milliwatts whoop milliwatts and that's what we get 0.08 it's like 80 microwatts that's what we're going to get in that antenna it's just crap 80 microwatts but i know what you're thinking right this thing's designed to sit there for a long time and charge up well let's see how much charge we need Let's take my Nokia E71 battery as, an exa as a typical example. This is a pretty high capacity one, but we use it, okay? This has a capacity of 5.6 watt hours. Now let's see what it takes, okay? 5.6 watt hours, okay? Now let's divide that by 0 0.08 milliwatts, okay? 0 0.08 milliwatts, okay? That, to, to charge a 5.6 what our battery at uh, 0 0.08 milliwatts is going to take roughly 70,000 70, hours. That's eight years. You've got to be kidding me. Eight years. See, it's absolute and utter bullshit. This thing's just not going to work. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You know, I haven't done this. I haven't taken this into account and that and antenna radiation patterns and things and the receiver and the antenna's sensitivity and gain and all sorts of crap. It doesn't matter. These are ballpark figures that are going to remain pretty much constant regardless of how you fiddle with the, with the rest of it. It's, you know, it, it's just not going to work. Okay, so, you know, people will claim that, oh, okay, that's just one uh, Wi-Fi router. What if you've got 10 of them? You know, if you're in a, if you're in a building, there's 10 Wi-Fi routers around. Well, go through the math again. And you're not going to be a metre away from the damn thing. You're going to be 10, 20 metres away from it or something like that or more, 50 or 100 metres away. It's just, it doesn't matter how many you got. It's not going to work. And it doesn't matter what type of antenna, RCA, what type of technology in the antenna design RCA have got in this thing because some whiz-bang fractal antenna manufactured by new virgins in the marketing department, well, it doesn't matter. It's still not going to work. It's bullshit. I'm calling it out. The energy device, the RCA energy device is marketing bullshit. You simply can't beat the inverse square law, which says that the power drops as a square of the distance. So if you double the distance, your power from the antenna, your power drops by four times. And, well, you've seen the results at just a meter. That's hopeless. God. And, of course, I'm not taking into account, you know, uh, losses in the battery and conversion and all sorts of, all sorts of things. You know, loss over capacity, loss over time, and God knows what. There's so many things that go into this, and it just, it just doesn't add up. There is no way that you're going to uh, uh, harness enough energy from, a, from usable Wi-Fi signals to charge that internal battery in the energy device so that you can charge a, you know, a 2, 3 or 4, 5 watt hour mobile phone battery. It's just, it's just not going to happen. And I bet you they end up supplying it with a plug pack too, just in case there's not enough uh, Wi-Fi energy in your particular area, you know, just in case you might have to plug it into the PowerPoint and actually charge it up, and that'll take a few hours, and, well, isn't that just easier to do that? Oh, it's useless. It's a complete and utter gimmick, but geeks will buy it, because it's got a cool name, and it looks funky. So how can they get away with releasing a product like this, or even proposing a product like this, that clearly just is a gimmick, it doesn't work. Well, it not only does it come down to marketing, but it comes down to future funding as well. Because as you see in the clips, they're also trying to market a little, a little battery version of it too, that is integrated into a mobile phone battery. And to get funding to do something like that, they have to produce this energy device and, and sell it 
and market it and hype it up and sell it just so that they can get the extra funding for doing something else. And of course, uh, RCA, they you know, you might think they're a big, you know, huge corporation, big reputation, been around a long time. No, they're, they're just a, it's just a shell name now. It has been for a long time. They're just a, you know, who knows who's actually behind this when slapping the RCA uh, name on it to give it some credibility. And uh, the, the thing is, the engineers, they will design this thing, okay, they design this energy device, and they will write a report for it, and it says, oh, you know, even under best ideal case conditions, it might take 50 or 100 days to, to charge, you know? And the marketing department and managers, they look at that and they go, oh, that can't be right. Well, well what happens if you only want to uh, get down to, say, if you only want to charge a battery 10%, that'll help won't it? So bingo. And they focus on that one figure. They might focus on that 10% instead of whether or not the product is actually overall useful. And the engineers, well, you know, they just want to keep their jobs. So they mumble and agree and go, oh yeah, kinda, you know. And then they'll, you know, walk away with their Dilbert ties up back to their cubicle. And, and well, it's, you know, that's how big companies operate. What can you do?